His bread and butter is the ground game. If he can get it there tonight, you gotta think his submission could materialize shortly thereafter. Oh, another dynamic strike there from Tony Ferguson, former football player, baseball player, collegiate wrestler. A great dancer, too, by the way, DC. But Kiesa gets the double leg takedown. Nothing telegraphed about that shot. Well done. Oh, that looks tight. Well, maybe ill-advised to be competing off your back, but he's landing. Well, the ground and pound has been working for him. Nice job here by Ferguson. Oh, right into Mount. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. <laughs> trying to guard pass here, not today. Oh, he's trying to pin that arm in the triangle now. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. He's got it locked in. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Oh, good defense, yes. Two minutes have gone by here in round one. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Yes, they go to work here from the full guard. Nice combination of strikes. Mixing it up pretty well here. When you get a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class in changing position. Unreal to see. Now 
Oh, he's got good body position, yup. Posture's up. Oh, and he lands a brutal strike to the head. In the half guard. Another ground and palm strike lands for this man. All right, so Tony Ferguson out grappling the opposition here tonight. A lot of submission attempts from El Cucu. You know, Tony Ferguson possesses that ability. He's a wrestler. He's a guy that says, I will ankle pick you. We have seen him submit people to become the interim champion. The guy has a well-rounded skill set, but tonight he has relied on the submission attempts to get him a victory. Kies is attempting a triangle here. Let's see if he can finish the deal. Oh, that looks wicked tight. Wow, that is great submission defense. Fighter trying to pass here, ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Ferguson's right back to the full mount here. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just gotta move. Ferguson's able to flatten him out. This could very well be the beginning of the end. He's in the mount. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Get that knee in, shrimp. You got a shrimp from there. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Tony Ferguson. Fifteen seconds to go. Changing the position. Ferguson's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's look back at some of the action, DC. Your good friend Mark Coleman, the godfather of the ground and pound, would be proud. He'd be very proud. He'd be very proud with the way that he showed his ability to use his ground and pound. He didn't waste any action. He did everything he needed to do. He was able to posture. He was able to control risk. He did everything perfectly in his approach in that ground and pound right. sequence. All right, let's get to round two. All right, next round is underway. We will see if he can pick up where he left off, particularly when it comes to the ground and pound. That was vicious. I mean, it was vicious. It was vicious. It was shades of Habib Nurmagomedov. Oh! oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Great job finding his shots from the top position. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Nice transition. Good, solid strike on the ground. Nice positional control here. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Kies is in half guard. Now inside the closed guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Now he's going full mount. Print the shirts, ground and pound. Got to be careful here. Come on, have a Ferguson getting worked here from the top. You don't want to take too many more of these ground and pound strikes. Just over three minutes to go now. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Kiesa. 
Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. El Cucu is in half guard. Drops down inside the Ferguson's trying to get the triangle here. Let's see if he can close the show. Oh, he's out. All these actions, though, these big actions got to wear on the gas tank of both guys. While sometimes our stat guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers, there have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler, and he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Posture's up now and lands the vicious head strike. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you should get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly... Setting up for another submission now. Got that submission locked up very tight. Oh, that's got to be it. Come on. That is so oh. easy. For him here tonight, he gets it done and gets it done by way of submission. He told us this week, I gotta keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. He said that he held the advantage there and that would show itself in the fight. He proved that and he gets a submission victory. Amazing. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 17 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Tony El Capuli Ferguson. All right, so a big win for Tony Ferguson tonight. A lot of lightweights will say he presents the toughest matchup for them, and that was certainly the case for his opponent tonight. Absolutely. He's so long. He's so tall. He's so different, right?